Welcome back to another edition of the Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Today we're going to be reading The Boy Who Loved Words by Ronnie Schotter and illustrated by Giselle Potter. So this book manages to have a couple of my pet peeves in it. <laughs> um, right off the bat, we open it up and we see that there is a ton of words. Um, so yes, that's a pet peeve of mine to be getting ready to do a nice picture book and then you open it up and you find out it's really a short story with some pictures in it. Um, and so I, I just feel like there's a better formats out there than a picture book to have all these words in it. Um, it ends up being a very long story to read to somebody if you're trying to do a little bedtime story. Um, so other than that, though, this is the story of a boy who likes to collect words, and his name is Sileg, which is a totally weird name that is hard to connect to. Um, then you look at the artwork in here, and, and quite often the artwork in here is, has uh, these paintings of adults that are almost kind of scary looking. Um, again, kind of hard to relate to. Um, not, not terrible, but again, a little bit hard to relate to. Uh, anyway, it's the story of a boy who's a little bit eccentric and he collects words, and then the story goes that eventually he starts sharing those words with other people, and, and kind of they use those words to make life better for themselves, and you know, that out of the blue they find words, and so they're so grateful for this mysterious person that's giving them the words that they need. And yet he's lonely, so he eventually falls in love with somebody named Melody. And then kind of the end of the story is, well, if you ever have a word just come to you, know that it's coming from Silig Wordsmith, um, or Wordsworth. And Or if a song comes into your head, it's probably coming from Melody, who is sending those uh, songs to you. So it's kind of this weird story of you're supposed to be appreciating words and it has tons and tons of vocabulary words in it so that when you get to the end of the book, uh, you get to look those words up in the dictionary. So uh, the other pet peeve is this falls into that category of, hey, this is just an educational trick. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get you to learn a bunch of new words here um, while reading a mildly boring story. So. All in all, not terribly impressed with this one. Um, would tell you to skip it unless you're trying to get your kids to learn a, a new legend, but also a ton of vocabulary words. So that being said, I would probably skip this one. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time on the show.